A heart attack cannot keep a Clearwater barber from doing what he loves. As ABC Action News reporter Jacqueline Inglace explains, an allergic reaction to a drug has left that man without any legs and something else very critical he needs to do his job. This Clearwater barber shop is a buzz, but not why you think. Really enjoy it. Roger Polk has been cutting hair for the past 40 years. Even a massive heart attack can't keep him from what he loves. He's glad to be around. And Polk is standing tall despite his heart attack claiming both his legs in November of 2014. Placed in a medically induced coma for three weeks, doctors gave Polk heparin, an injectable blood thinner, causing necrosis, a rare reaction. Both my feet were just black as cold. He now has prosthetic legs, his walker and canes always nearby. It's not like standing on... Uh... Your God given legs, but it's like walking on stilts. Another complication of his heart attack? Polk lost the fingertips on his right hand. Holding scissors is no longer possible. Just no way. I've tried everything. He used to see about 30 clients a day. His limitations now costing him clients. I had kids that came in and sat on the little bitch, bringing their kids in to sit on the little bitch. But Polk's dedication to not give up is reflected by some longtime clients who refuse to give up on him. He's so motivated just to get back to where he was instead of laying back and um, quitting. Polk's insurance won't pay for prosthetic fingertips, calling it an unnecessary cosmetic procedure. He's now working with wrapped fingertips and trying to save. Hey, you got to do something. You just can't lay down and quit. Despite having lost so much, he's been able to hold on to his sense of humor. Same people did my legs did winter at a dolphin's tail. So I figured if I couldn't walk that good, I'd probably swim very well. In Clearwater, Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News.